Hey, welcome back to the channel. What I'm showing you today is exactly what you should expect when ordering a full floor pan for your Ford Mustang from Dynacorn, CJ Pony Parts also sells, Kentucky Mustang. A lot of these companies that sell these, well, I'm gonna be showing you exactly what you should expect when this right here is coming in the mail. What do you need to get it out of the truck? What do you have to prepare for? And exactly how hard is it to get it out of the semi and get it out here on the ground to where you need to work on it? Let's go ahead and dive right in and I'll show you exactly how you can do it. Okay, now you can get this thing out by hand with maybe four or five good buddies that's gonna be able to pick this thing up. Uh, but if you have a tractor, you can always use the front end loader. This is gonna be the best way to get that out of that truck. So this is gonna be your best option is having a tractor or a forklift itself. And of course you can see one handed, I can pick it up. So it shouldn't be any trouble, maybe even two guys you just slide this right out of the semi and sit it right onto your car trailer and just carry it into your garage. You know, this is how I'm gonna be getting it out today. And we're gonna go ahead and slide and show you exactly how I'm gonna get it out with this track. All right, now when your floor pan shows up, it's probably gonna show up in something like this, most likely. You know, it's gonna be heavy. So let's go ahead and open it up and see exactly what it looks like. Walking into the truck, here it is, the floor pan all sitting out. You can see it should be ready. You just have to get a chain, slide it all the way out. If you had a couple good buddies that's pretty stout, you could probably lift it up and slide it on a trailer, but we're gonna pull it out with a forklift. we're going to be doing is building a 1967 Ford Mustang Fastback complete from a box. So everything, the entire body of this car will be brand new. Literally every single part on this 67 Ford Mustang Fastback we're going to be building is going to be brand new. We're not going to be using anything used on this new build. So every single thing that we do in the video is going to be something that you could use on yours as well to to build so if you want to do like this rather than buying the full body that's already assembled which costs a whole lot more money you could do it this way and save a whole lot of money so we've got every single piece that we need from dynacorn to build this 67 ford mustang straight from a box here it is with all the crap off of it as you can see it has your inner rocker panel which is very thick it also has your lower um, frame rail for your front frame rails. It goes all the way to your floor pan in the front. It comes with braces. Of course, I got those braces there. It also comes with rear braces for your uh, the weld zone for the rear bumper. Also, this little frame here comes with this nice frame. So I'll probably use this frame and make a jig to build the car off of. Looking underneath it, of course, we'll cut this right here down. It's got everything under that you need, the places for your seat belts and everything. All the way around the front there. But the main thing is, if you need all this right here replaced, it's best to buy this whole entire package right here and put it in your car because you know it's gonna be all welded in, it's gonna be right. The 
seat risers, they're not welded in, but they're sitting in place there. So that's exactly what it looks like right there on the stand. It looks nice. Uh, we also, we have the whole entire side pieces that's fast back that you just drill the welds out and weld to this side in a rocker. And then of course we have a all new front end, we can do firewall. We have everything we need to build this right here into a brand new car. So this right here is exactly what you should expect when ordering this. And this was a course from CJ Pony Parts. So we're gonna get this thing right here and get it set in there in the garage. Um, you can see just me, myself, just one-handed, I can pick that up. So you should not have any trouble taking this right here out with just a, one guy on each side. You can get this out of that semi. No problem whatsoever. Okay, so that's gonna conclude the video, guys. Uh, we have our floor pan right here. You don't have to have this forklift tractor here to do this. I just got it as an insurance policy for me, uh, knowing that it, they put it in there with a forklift, so I didn't know how heavy it was gonna be, so I went ahead and got that. But we've got it here. This is what you can expect. You saw this, the tractor trailer that pulled up, so we know exactly what that tractor trailer looks like. We know what the part looks like and how it comes. And we know that you can actually get this out with just two guys, really, just by sliding it out, sit the front on the trailer, push it forward, and then sit the front side on the trailer, and it's out. So, yeah, this, this is exactly what you should expect. So this is exactly how it comes, exactly how it looks like in your truck, uh, semi-tractor trailer, and what it looks like when you get it unboxed. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I wanna thank everybody who subscribed to the channel and got me where I am now. Uh, I hope that everyone that's watching this video goes ahead and hits that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed. Hit that notification bell as well so that you'll be the first one to get any videos as soon as they upload. And you can follow along on this project where we're going to be building an entire car body from a box. But thanks for watching, and I'm going to catch you guys on the next video.